As the sun rose over the fertile lands of Salinas Valley, California one recent morning, a group of farm workers waited to sign in for their shift. Not on paper as they normally do, but on an iPad, where an app has their name and job assignments already programmed in. They are using HeavyConnect, a new mobile communication app designed to help farm managers keep better track of equipment and personnel. And the team that developed it were out bright and early to check in on one of their newest customers, farm manager Sam Bringatino, who works for a large grower called Tanamura and Antle. Co-founder Jessica Gonzalez walked him through an update. They see the times they worked and if they had any breaks in meals, it would be mm -hmm. in between there. Mm -hmm. The jobs they did here, mm -hmm. um, the legal statement. So yeah, I like the pull downs much better on this one. The scenic Salinas Valley is less than an hour's drive from Silicon Valley, the innovation hub of the country. But in many ways, the two regions could not be more different. Unlike the high income, mostly white and Asian population of Silicon Valley, Salinas Valley is about 75% Hispanic. Many here work in the fields or packaging plants, jobs that are often hourly and low paying. There are pockets of extreme poverty, high crime and poorly performing schools. And for the area's many young people, there are few economic opportunities. There aren't the jobs yet for them, but we want to create that opportunity. Ray Corpus is the city manager of Salinas. He and other community leaders are very supportive of the new focus on technology, but he wants more of it to be homegrown. We're looking for our citizens, our community, the people that live here to actually run the new machines, provide the new applications, to make technological innovations. So we have to have a skilled workforce. That future tech-savvy workforce is now being developed in this classroom. Binary search, remember, is that searching algorithm where we break up our array in half every single time. These college students are enrolled in a new unique program. They will be earning a computer science degree in just three years. Half of that time is spent at the Salinas Community College, called Hartnell College, and they finish up at a nearby state university, CSU Monterey Bay. The highly competitive program is called CSN3, and the students attend classes year-round. Many in the program are the first in their families to attend college, and thanks to a local well-known grower who has established a large scholarship, their tuition is paid for. Only 6% of the computer industry is women. Only 3% are Hispanic. Our classrooms, majority Hispanic, at least 50% of our students are women. Zahi Atala is a Dean of Academic Affairs at Hartnell. He says that while there is a big push to get more students into higher paying tech jobs, the school is also trying to encourage local youth to pursue other good paying careers like welding and farm equipment maintenance. But regardless of what they end up doing, Atala says the students' understanding of this community and the overall ag business will be a big benefit. Many of those students are farm workers themselves and kids of farm workers. Imagine what they're bringing to the table, having the background of farming, having lived it themselves, because they can create and innovate faster and most effectively. One of those using her past experiences in her new career is Heavy Connects Rivka Garcia. She was born and raised in Salinas and worked in a produce processing plant before graduating earlier this year from the CSN3 program. Garcia is now using all her skills, including coding, to help make the company's app more intuitive for those who will be using it. I worked with a lot of people that didn't understand how to use technology and creating an app that is easy to use that won't confuse them and will get the job done and will be really similar to what they do on paper but more efficient is I think a big thing that I bring to the table. The Heavy Connect team is now working on a new app feature that will allow farmers to monitor their equipment using Bluetooth sensors. And Garcia is leading that project. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Kat Wise in Salinas, California.